Hey, Mental Mars here, and yes, we finally found it! We discovered all the Borderlands 3 easter eggs Gearbox has put into these Battleborn story operations. And oh man, it's been a long journey, but we did it! The Dutch weather may be cloudy, but Mental Mars is dropping some freaking bombs! Last year we already found the graffiti uh, with the fault symbol referring to Promethea, but these five new ones are mind-blowing. It took us a while to track down these other easter eggs, but it makes the discovery even more enjoyable. The big discovery for me came with the release of the story operation Oscar Mike vs the Battle School. During my ops points uh, search I encountered a Varelsi portal, and from this came an odd bleeping signal. Even a reddit post pointed this out and I tried decoding it using Morse code, but no results and the post quickly died. Meanwhile, the community over at the Gearbox forum were dissecting Toby's friendship rate and they found some very interesting stuff. They started pointing out differences between the release content and the footage that was shown during the livestream. This got me triggered and go and watch the stream once again and when the Gearbox team was getting to the engine room, I noticed another Varelsi portal in the background. The odd thing was that the footage cut away from it once it was on screen. And in the next sequence you see the developer looking away from it. They never interacted with the portal. Because I never encountered any Varelsi portals in the other story operations outside of Oscar Mike vs the Battle School, I didn't know it was a side objective. But after discovering that, I was able to recreate it for myself and compare the two signals. And I found out that there is a difference between them. So it wasn't just a generic portal sound, therefore I knew I was onto something. But because of all the background noise, I had had trouble decoding the signal. So I contacted Lowlines if he was able to get a clean sample from the game. However, even then we weren't able to get any good results using Morse code decoding apps. And yes, we have tried playing it backwards, slowing it down, using multiple layers on top of each other and whoa! Ah! So at this point it wasn't working out for us. Therefore we concluded that we might need to use a different code or needed all five signals for it to work. We also considered that the Promethea easter egg was a piece of the puzzle. At this point we started posting our data on the forums to get some more help on unlocking this hidden message. Over the course of time some developers had start dropping some hints and while my portal theory was still not confirmed, these hints were in line with the path that we were on. And our efforts paid off because this morning a community member broke the code. So shout out to you, what's my name again? As I was looking at the dots, he was looking between the dots. So to wrap up this story, let's dive into the messages. Here is the first signal from Atticus and the Troll Rebellion. Visit Promethea. So the weird thing is that the H is missing from Promethea. But this message is very exciting. Because the first easter egg already pointed at this, but it really looks like we'll be leaving Pandora in Borderlands 3 and we'll be going and visit another planet, or even planets. Because at the end of Borderlands 2 we get teased with a galaxy full of faults. Now to the next signal. This message from Toby's Friendship Raid says Children of the Vault. And this seems to be a call out from the Iridian. This would give some more context to the other messages. So let's continue with the next message that was in Oscar Mike vs the Battle School. This third message tells us we are not on Pandora anymore. You can question on who we is, but I assume it's the Iridian. But why did they leave and why do we have to follow? Questions, questions, questions. Well, the next message even brings more questions, so let's hop to that one.
So, the message from Montana and the demon bear tells us that Tannis is not what she seems. Tannis was always a bit weird, but what secrets does she have? Is she our new antagonist in Borderlands 3, even since we have been working alongside her all this time? Plot twist! Well, maybe this fifth message from Phoebe and the Heart of Eknar will tell us more. So, that tells us not to open the vaults. Wait, what? That has been the whole point of these games, right? We want the sweet loot. What evil is upon us? A tennis on a fish invasion? Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm stoked for the next Borderlands. Hope to see you there. And subscribe to this channel for more Borderlands and Battleborn content. Thank you.